This is Lauren, escaping rush hour for her favorite wings and team. Here she is when he popped the question on Pazuki Tuesday. And here she is sharing OMG I'm engaged with her favorite friends over her favorite dishes. Yum. Congrats, Lauren. And here she is years later, remembering extraordinary times while creating new ones. Escape to Extraordinary, only at BJ's Restaurant and Brew House. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Today, the Supreme Court will decide whether women's access to a widely used abortion pill will stay unchanged. The arguments justices are weighing in on. And here's a live look at LAX. It's going to be nice today, but get ready for some summer-like temperatures this weekend. Good morning. We're already ready for that. Are, Leslie Lopez, she's we, dished it up. Well, <laughs> I mean, people were wanting the heat, and so bringing it up to 90. I mean, is that good enough? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we can do that. Um, 89, 90 degree temperature in some of our Inland Empire Valley communities today. Downtown Los Angeles, get ready for about 85 degrees. It's going to be just about 82 degrees over into Orange County and the Inland Empire Valley spots just about 89. But a whole lot of sunshine happening today, so just get ready for that too. Heading for the coastline, we're going to be right around 75. The uh Good morning, everyone. You know, a pretty good drive out on our freeways. And we're in North Hollywood. We're looking at the 170 South. The reason we look at that is sometimes the South 170 has some road work on it coming down towards the Ventura Freeway. Not this morning. It is wide open. It is Friday light, and most of our freeways uh, look fantastic. So we'll take that. Our map popped up an accident here on the 91 east of Lakeview, and I don't think this is going to be a huge deal because it's eastbound, and all the heavy volume this time of the morning is on the westbound side. It should wrap this up pretty quickly. Anaheim Hills, 91 freeway eastbound. Uh, they have a problem there at Lakeview they're trying to clear. And then our Caltrans monitor in Riverside. Been a lot of problems on the 215, but at least this stretch here, the 215 at Columbia, uh, through that area of Riverside, that's up to speed and moving well in both directions. Leslie, John, and Rachel, back to you. Looks good, Scott. Thank you. We're expecting to hear from the U.S. Supreme Court today as it decides on access to a widely used abortion drug. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robles is live in the newsroom with details. Mark. Yeah, Leslie, John, Rachel, good morning. This Supreme Court decision involves the drug mifepristone. The pill is the most common abortion method in the U.S. It was approved by the FDA 23 years ago. In the two decades since, it's been found to be safe and effective. Justices now facing a self-imposed deadline today to decide whether women's access to the abortion pill will stay unchanged or restricted. The court facing that question as a legal challenge to the pill's FDA approval goes on. The challenge brought on by abortion opponents is the forced first abortion controversy to reach the nation's highest court since its conservative majority overturned Roe v. Wade 10 months ago. Now the Mifepristone decision hanging in the balance, it has created confusion for healthcare providers and patients. It's also caused concern about the long-term impacts of the court's ruling when it comes to regulatory approvals of other drugs. One of the direct questions here for the court, can a single judge or panel overrule the FDA? We should get that answer again later today. Live here in the newsroom, Mark Cotarobulus, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Mark, we will check back. Thank you. A disturbing video of animal cruelty and abuse caught on camera. It shows a man tossing a puppy locked in a cage over a fence and into a storm channel. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell has that story for us. Only about two months old, this puppy survived a vicious crime. The shocking incident captured on home security video. A Chevy Tahoe is seen pulling up near the Tahanga Wash. The driver gets out and pulls a crate containing the small black dog from the back of his vehicle. He then throws the cage over a fence into the wash. We were in the, our yard, I only live here, and um, we heard a lot of commotion, screaming, you know, dog kind of screaming. When Jim Tavare walked over to the wash, he saw the cage in a corner of the storm channel, but the puppy was not inside. A short time later, he saw a message about what happened to the animal on a social media app. People rushed to the wash and started searching the area, a neighbor rescuing the puppy. They found the dog fairly rapidly um, in about half an hour, I think, and they came down the hill with it, and it had been hiding in the um, 